Hello everyone, my name is Ari de Jong and today we'll take a look into the latest advances of AI in the world of architecture. AI is changing architecture faster than any of us could have imagined, from the way we create mood boards and renders to how we lay out entire buildings. New tools are speeding up every stage of the design process. Now in this video, we're going to explore the latest AI advancements that are reshaping the architecture industry and show you how you can start using them to work smarter and faster. First, let's take a look at the advancement in visualization. And before we look at the latest tools, let's look briefly at how we used to do it before. Picture the way we used to make a mood board, right? You'd open up half a dozen of browser tabs, dig through Google, Getty or Shutterstock, pay for a few decent images, then download them, rename them and drag everything into Photoshop. And then came the time consuming part, right? You had to mask backgrounds, you had to color match, cut, paste and notch layers around until the collage finally felt coherent. A single board could swallow an entire afternoon. And if the client asked for a different vibe, well, you basically had to start over. Concept renders were an even bigger time sink. First, you blocked out a rough mass in your favorite 3D modeling program. Next, you fussed with cameras and focal lengths, dropped in a background, placed the sun, scattered a few fill lights and painstakingly textured every surface. Once the scene was ready, you hit render and you hoped the frame bucket finished before lunch. After that, you know, you were back in Photoshop, swapping in a nicer sky, painting fog, pasting people and vehicles, and grading colors so the whole image looked coherent and intentional. Crafting one compelling visual easily could take up an entire day. Now, multiply that by three or four options most teams usually explore, and you can see why the concept phase used to take so long. Now, think about typing a sentence like this. A brutalist concrete library carved into the cliffside with overgrown vegetation spilling from terraces. Or a modular co-living building made from recycled shipping containers stacked playfully with rooftop gardens. And then in under a minute, Sora spits out a variety of images that nails the mood you described. Gemini and Claude do the same, while Midjourney fires back half a dozen artistic frames you can tweak by simply rephrasing the prompt. No geometry, no lighting rigs, no texture hunting, just language. These models have gotten excellent and the better in detail you describe the mood and ambience, the better the result. The leap in speed is startling. What once took hours happens while you sip coffee. And the cool thing is most of these tools are free to use with some daily limits. Now, on top of those general models, we now have architect friendly layers. And that's the first tool I wanna take a look in with you guys. It's called LookX. And LookX is essentially a cloud studio. You upload a Rhino, SketchUp, or even a hand-drawn sketch, choose from a bank of style presets like board formed concrete, Scandinavian timber, cyberpunk neon, and the servers re-renders high resolution stills or short flight throughs with textures, lighting and entourage already baked in. Because LookX lets you fine tune how strictly it follows your geometry and even train private style models on your own reference folder, it excels when you need fast, branded visuals that still respect the massing you gave it. Next up is another cool tool that I found. It's called Crea. And Crea AI shifts the workflow from export and wait to sketch and watch. Its real-time canvas listens to both rough pen strokes and plain language prompts, updating the image live as you draw or tweak sliders. Recent releases add camera moves and chat style prompting. So you can ask for softer light or a new material and see it appear instantly. Crea shines during the earliest ideation phase when you are still sculpting form and atmosphere simultaneously, trading photoreal fidelity for speed and almost playful sense of exploration. Next up is Veras, and Veras lives directly inside production tools. It can live inside Revit, Rhino, SketchUp, Factorworks and even the web. So your true model stays under the hood, while the plugin paints photoreal materials, accurate lighting, and composited skies in seconds. Veras also has sliders for respect geometry and prompt influence, and it lets you decide how wild the AI can get, making Veras perfect for live design reviews. 
Naar je façade, hit refresh, and the updated render appears before the conversation moves on. Its tight integration and geometry-aware output make it a go-to choice when you need quick, credible imagery without ever leaving your BIM or CAD environment. Even post-production got an upgrade. Adobe Firefly's generative fill lets you replace a dull sky or extend the canvas just by telling it what you want. Its board creation feature auto-arranges reference images into a clean presentation spread, saving you the endless layer shuffle. Instead of being the slow corrective stage, Photoshop becomes a near instant playground for finishing touches. And the net result is dramatic, you know, a mood board that once devoured 3 hours now appears in 10 minutes. A render that used to lock up your workstation all day is ready in the time it takes to walk to the espresso machine. And most important, the time you save goes right back into what really matters, thinking through your design and not fighting with software. AI isn't replacing creativity, it's erasing downtime. In the rest of this video, we'll dive into even more AI tools that tackle modeling, documentation and project management. But for now, the takeaway is simple. If you're still building concept visuals the 2015 way, you're gifting your competition a speed advantage. Give one of these tools a spin on your next project and see how fast your workflow can really improve. I've put some links in the description for you to check them all out. So far, we've talked about how AI is used in image generation, but it's not stopping there. Long before we even think about a presentation render, new tools are jumping in to answer bigger questions like, can we build on this lot? Or what is the smartest way to lay out these apartments? They are bringing the same instant feedback vibe we love in mid-journey to site studies, schematic plans, and live modeling right in the browser. Now, as I explore these platforms, they seem to land in three useful categories. First are the real-time feasibility engines that crunch zoning, parking, and pro forma data the moment you trace a parcel. Next are the generative floor plan tools that spin up hundreds of code compliant layouts in minutes, scoring each one for daylight, circulation and efficiency. And finally, there are the cloud modeling spaces that blend lightweight BIM, live 3D and shared markups so entire teams or even clients can co-create from any laptop. Now let's take a look at the first category. And our first tool that I want to take a look at with you guys is called TestFit. And TestFit leaves squarely in the visibility lane. You drop in parcel geometry, parking ratios, and a target pro forma, and its configurator shoot back block diagrams, yield counts, and the financial summaries before you can finish your coffee. Because everything updates while you drag side edges or tweak unit mixes, TestFit shines when a developer calls asking, hey, how many doors can we fit? And what's the IRR? Next up is a tool called Architectures. And Architectures also attacks early feasibility, but focuses on residential massing. Type in target unit counts, setbacks, or circulation ratios, and its AI grows complete apartment blocks, optimizes cores, or even suggests the best mix of one, two, and three bed units to hit efficiency benchmarks. Where TestFit aims for speed across product types, Architectures digs deep into multifamily metrics, making it a favorite for housing specialists we need usable GFA and daylight scores, not just pretty blocks. Now, next up is another tool that I really like, it's called Spatio, and Spatio blends site context automation with freeform modeling. Type in an address and it builds the terrain, partial lines, and surrounding massing automatically. Then lets you sculpt a proposal that remains tied to real-world data and basic code checks. If TestFit is about hard numbers and rapid yield, Spatio is about seeing a mass in its actual neighborhood seconds after you decide to study a new site. Next up is Giraffe, and Giraffe lives in your browser like a jizz powered sketchbook. Trace a parcel or draw a quick road grid and it instantly extrudes massing, overlays live zoning and mapping data, then tabulates unit counts, FAR and pro forma metrics as you sketch. Because every layer, from flood maps to transit stops, can stream in as geodata. Giraffe shines at early site vetting and stakeholder buying. You share a link, toggle scenarios in real time, and everyone sees the numbers update with each drag of a handle. Let's take a look at the next category. And the first tool I want to take a look at there is called Make It. Now, Make It slides into the generative design category. Its plan generator whips up zoning compliant floor plans in seconds, then lets you restyle interiors or exteriors with the same text prop magic we saw in visualization tools. 
Make it excels at very early ideation. Architects sketch broad requirements. The AI proposes dozens, dozens of compliant plan variants and teams cherry pick the ones worth detailing. Next up is a tool called Finch 3D. And Finch 3D is pure generative exploration. Inside its plugin, you sketch envelopes or room bubbles and let algorithms shuffle layouts, staircase cores and daylight apertures, all scored against sustainability target. Finch stands out when you want to gamify the search for high performing schemes rather than settle for the first workable plan. Next up is a tool called Art Design, and Art Design feels like a lighter, developer friendly cousin to make it. Feed it site parameters for a multifamily or mixed use project, and it pumps out automated floor plans, test fits, and feasibility snapshots, and it overlaps with test fit, but it leans more toward preliminary architecture than finance, making it handy when you need quick diagrams and area schedules for an investor deck. Let's take a look at the last category. And the first tool I want to take a look at there is called SnapTruth. Now, SnapTruth represents the cloud modeling crowd. Open a browser tab and you are inside a lightweight Revit-style environment where schedules, area takeoffs, and FAR calculations update the moment you push a wall. Because everything lives online, multiple teammates or even the client can tour, annotate, and revise the model in real time. SnapTruth's strength is collaboration. It trades some deep BIM horsepower for the freedom of designing anywhere on any device. And finally, we have another tool from Autodesk, because of course we have to include Autodesk in some way. And that's a tool from Autodesk called Forma. Now, Autodesk Forma rounds things off by stitching AI analysis into a familiar Autodesk cloud. Start a project, pull in climate and context data, Mass out a concept and watch Forma deliver real-time solar, wind, and operational carbon feedback. Because it sits in Autodesk's ecosystem, it speaks easily to Revit, Civil 3D, Navisworks, and Infraworks, making it the connective tissue for firms already committed to that stack. All these AI tools are making it easier and faster to visualize, model, and manage projects. But the real magic happens when you combine them with solid design skills. And that is exactly what we teach at Think Parametric. If you want to get hands-on with modeling, BIM, parametric design, visualization, and learn how to integrate the latest tech into your workflow, our courses are built for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're eager to learn more, please check out Think Parametric and start mastering the skills that will keep you ahead of the curve. The link is in the description below. Thank you.